President uh, Obama has very much been described as kind of a hip-hop president, and his election really kind of galvanized what already was a kind of growing movement uh, among folks in the hip-hop community who were really uh, dispirited by a lot of the things that they saw in the aftermath of uh, Hurricane Katrina. And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. There's a movement to really kind of continue what Barack Obama's election started, which was this tremendous interest in Barack Obama's candidacy and really opening up the political process to a lot of young folks. Uh, of course, we saw him get almost uh, something like 70 percent of the youth vote. And now what's happening with this hip hop caucus uh, is an effort to get artists continuously involved. During the campaign, you saw people like T.I. out on the stump. I think politically you should become a part of the decision making process. You should make sure you register, make sure you take advantage or, or exercise your right to vote. People like Jay-Z sending text messages to uh, potential voters to remind them to vote. And so now there's an effort to continue those efforts and have them to have a continuing, uh, a, a continuing a role in the political process. And so we got T.I. and T.I. was there and we sat down. T.I. was engaged okay, with the Respect My Vote campaign. It was a campaign that actually starts now. Because the Spin My Vote campaign was a campaign that we recognized a lot of times that in the urban community <clears throat> and the people that that vote is not respected. It's very important, man, that we accept responsibility. It's important that we accept responsibility as leaders in this country. And the sooner we do that, the sooner we will see this country. Hip-hop uh, as a kind of political force or political movement is, you know, kind of raising eyebrows among some people who think, you know, they look at the lyrics and they see that a lot of the lyrics are, might be violent or misogynistic and, and say, um, say negative things about women. So this idea that they can uh, push for a progressive agenda is somewhat a contradiction for some people. Hip-hop becomes a product. And when it becomes a commercial product, it gets pressed into the service of a history of images and representations of African Americans. And the, the greatest irony of what's happened in commercial hip hop is that it now begins to reflect the prime stereotypes about African Americans that drove the justification of slavery, the justification of Jim Crow, and the idea that we're in a post-race society. Looking forward, it'll be interesting to see whether or not hip-hop can gain some sort of credi credibility as a political movement. Of course, there is opposition, but uh, they're going to really kind of push for this effort and push to get artists involved. And even uh, going forward in the fall, there's, there's going to be an attempt to bring some of these artists to the Hill where they're meeting with lawmakers to really hash out some of the issues that, uh, that are concerned to many of these artists and also their audiences. Oh,